All right, Shalom Yashirala, back again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha. All right, before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, and glory, and praises to our Heavenly Father and to the only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha, Bahashem Rachah Kodash. Next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still guide to the hours and bowers and feed us with the 100% truth. According to the Bible and her rule well, may peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yakims out there who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities. In the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushah, Bahashem, Rachah, Kodash, where the people hear, whether they forbear. And I'm back at it with another lesson through the spirit of power, Yah, Bahashem, Yahushah, Bahashem, Rachah, Kodash. You know, the name of this lesson is going to be called. You people are going to be the fireworks, man. You know, you're gonna want, you're the one that, that you know, we're gonna watch you. Lord's willing to be a part of the, that number, man. That that watch you spark up, man. You know, cause you got the uh, the Fourth of July. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna uh, do fireworks, uh, commit folly, commit wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Doing these vain cookouts, man. You know, for the celebration of uh, July the 4th, man. You know? So without further ado, we're going to go to the book of Revelation, chapter uh, 6, verse 12. As a matter of fact, I go from the point. Verse 13. And the stars of heaven fell upon the earth, even as a fig tree shake of her untimely figs when she, sh when she is shaken by a mighty wind. Right. That's talking about the ICBM missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles hitting this place, man. You know, and other parts of the earth is going to get hit as well. Because nuclear, it's going to be a nuclear war, man. You know? So there's going to be nuke shot everywhere. You know? But it was, let's talk about the intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Because when you look at a missile, an intercontinental ballistic missile from the sky, it looks like a star, man. You know, until, until, until it gets close upon you, then you're going to be destroyed, man. You know? Verse 14. And the heaven departed as a, uh, a scroll when it is rolled together, right? And that's talking about the mushroom clouds, man. That's talking about the mushroom cloud. You know, because after the intercontinental ballistic missile hit and touched down, you're going to see fire. Then it's going to roll up like a, like, a, like a scroll, man, which is a.k.a. a mushroom cloud, man. This is a vision that John saw, man, of Babylon, which is America, being destroyed, man. You know? And every mountain and island will move out of their places, right? Because I, I believe it's, what, 200 million ICBM missiles, man, that's going to hit this place. You know what I'm saying? And other parts of the earth are going to get hit with ICBM missiles as well. You know what I'm saying? But only intercontinental ballistic missiles through the spirit of Havi Abba Shemel Shah are going to move islands and mountains out of their places, man. Because of so much, uh, I should say, so much force, so much power that, that they have, man. You know? You know, so we're going to go from there. Let's see if we can find one or another one. Um, if not, I know where to get some more priests up. I'm just trying to find one. Bear with me. Um, Yeah, come. So uh, we're gonna go to the book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter nine, verse five, and it reads: "For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise." Right, man. Man, that's talking about the chants. That's talking about the war, war ready, uh, uh, uh yells that they do, man. For a, a, a group of uh, warriors on one side and another group uh, on another side, man. You know? You know, they're, they're sitting at their prayers, they're sitting at their chants, they're hyping their, 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 their warriors up, man. You know? And the reason, and it's also talking about uh, 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 they're running towards each other, they're screaming, you know what I'm saying? They're chanting, they're screaming. You know, they're, 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 like I said, they're hyping it up, so to speak, man. As they're running, they're hyping each other up. They're feeding off each other's energy, you know. 
and every and garments rolled in blood, right? And garments rolled in blood, man. From all the bloodshed from those hand to hand combat wars, man. They had swords, they had spears, they had daggers, they had bow and arrows, they had uh, swords, you know, they had uh mallets, they had um they had all, all they had all type of weaponry, man. You know? They had axes, you know. Yeah, they had all type of weapons that makes uh, uh that, that that equals a lot of bloodshed, man. And this is a bunch of warriors, so how much it's a lot of bloodshed. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, right? But this war right here is not gonna be like those ancient wars, man. You know, it's not gonna be like those ancient wars. It's gonna be with burning and fuel of fire, which is a aka a nuclear holocaust, man. A nuclear destruction, man. A nuclear war. You know? Because during World War Two only one country had in the, the atomic bombs, and that was America, man. And they used it on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man. You know, which led to the, sur the, 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 the surrendering of Japan, you know. But now all countries pretty much has intercontinental ballistic missiles, which are nuclear missiles, man. You know. So we're going to go from there. You know, so you people, man. Through this, through this nuclear war, man, you're gonna be the fireworks, man. You know, and we're gonna see you, um, we're gonna see you burn, man. Just like you know, on the on the Fourth of July, people like to gather around. They wanna see the fireworks and stuff like that. Well, that's how the elect is gonna be when you people be uh burned up, man. You know, um, kind of, as a matter of fact, um. Matter of fact, I get that. Uh, I get a uh, precept. It's not exactly what I want, but you know, this is the book of First Thessalonians four and sixteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Yahweh shall shall lie first. Right, Abba Bivens, High Priest Jaquab, King Masha, you know. And many other uh, uh, elders have died in this truth, man, for the names of Yahabash and Yahushah, man. Many other brothers and elders, man. You know? They're going to be risen first, man. They got an automatic chariot seat, man. You know? On the chariots, man. Verse 17. Then we, then we, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them. In the clouds, right? And the clouds are talking about the chariots, man. It ain't talking about no actual cloud, man. Like these wacky, tacky Christians like to say. No, it's talking about what the world only calls UFOs, man. Which you know this as IFOs, man. Which are the chariots of Yashur Allah, man. You know? These wacky, tacky Christians always like to take the scriptures literal, man. When it's really metaphoric, man. You know? But this right here is literal, though. You know, this scripture right here is literal. They just don't understand what the clouds are. To meet the Lord in the air, right? And our bodies are going to be changing while we meet the Lord in the air, man. While, while the chariots uh, shoot us up, Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number. Lord's willing. Starting off with our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, man, we'll be a part of the elect. You know, our bodies are going to change from a uh, carnal body or earthly body to heavenly bodies or spiritual bodies, man. Incorruptible bodies. Because this flesh is corrupt, man. We need those incorruptible bodies, man. Uh, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, right? So while we're being called up together in the clouds, man, you know, which is the so-called uh, UFOs, you know, while we on those chariots, man, the, while, and the missiles are coming down, we're going to be watching y'all burn, man, you know? We're going to be celebrating while watching the fireworks, man, which are you people, man. You two-thirds of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that scoffed and mocked at the men of the Lord, starting off with our apostles and the elders, man, you know, and you heathens, uh, you other nations, you know, and Esau, man. The Lord's going to going to burn you up, man. You know, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, let's get that. 
This is the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 10. And it reads, But the day of the Lord will come as the thief in the night. Right, see, the day of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashah, shall come as a thief in the night, man. And, and you don't know when a thief is going to come in and, and break inside your house, man. You know? It's unexpected, man. It's when you least expect it to happen, you know? And it reads, in which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, right? So Esau even, man, his heavens is going to be uh, uh, completely destroyed, man. His rulership, man, you know? This kingdom that he has built up off of the backs of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, you know? Esau, Edom, uh, uh, rulership is going to pass away with the great noise, man, which is the intercontinental ballistic missiles hit this place. And the element shall melt with fervent heat, right? And the elements are going to melt with fervent heat, man. The word fervent means very hot, man, you know? And what's it? And, what, and what's that heat that's very hot, man? Those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Two hundred million degrees for each intercontinental ballistic missile, man. And it's supposed to be uh two hundred million missiles hitting this place, man. So imagine that. Uh, imagine that. You know, everything is made up of elements, man. Your houses, your bodies, your cars, your women. You know, your your kids. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your money. You know, everything is going to get burned up, man. You know, and melt. And the earth also, and the works therein shall be burnt up, right? And that's not talking about the whole, the, the planet earth, man. That's talking about the rulership of the so-called white man. And all the work that he put in in this new world order is going to be put to an end. It's going to be seized by the Lord. And it's going to get burned up by the intercontinental ballistic missiles. And guess what? Lord willing, we be a part of that number. We're going to be watching it, man. So all you people out there that's, 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 that want to um, see fireworks, you know what I'm saying, going to see the fireworks, have you a, a, a holly, a folly, jolly good time, man. You know, Lord's willing, we be a part of the elect, man. We're going to we're gonna enjoy the fireworks, too. You know what I'm saying? But the fireworks ain't going to be uh, uh, with no, um, with no uh, line. Or, or, or string that you light up and everything starts popping. Nah, it's going to be you people, man, and, and, and America, man, and other parts of the earth that's also being destroyed, man, yeah, being hit, you know? So, uh, so Lord's willing, man, we be a part of number that we get to watch that, man, you know? Oh, verse 11, matter of fact, yeah, verse 11. Seeing then, seeing then that all these things will be dissolved by, by the intercontinental ballistic missiles and also the laser beams from the chariots with the world and it calls UFOs. Uh, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, right? Seeing that America and these people are going to be destroyed by fire. What manner of person ought ye to be in? In all holy conversation and godliness, right? Your conduct, man. How do you walk in your day-to-day -day life, man? Uh, serving your high by Shimmy Shah to the best of your ability, man. Because no, we knowing that this place is going to be destroyed and intercontinental ballistic missiles and laser beams are going to destroy this place, man. You know? And hit other parts of the world, man. And all these people becoming as uh, wood. You know what I'm saying? You know? We're supposed to conduct ourselves in the mannerisms of the men of the Lord, man. We're supposed to conduct ourselves as uh, 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 as men of the Lord, man. You know? If men of the Lord walk wise, man, like Lord also says, be ye therefore wise as a serpent harmless as doves, man. You know? We ain't supposed to walk as niggas in this tree. So I'm going to get one more piece up. Um, this is the book of Isaiah. I'm if I get two more. I'm if I, yeah, 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 I'm going to get that, yeah. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. And it reads, Hear the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Right, hear the word, man. And what's the word? The scriptures, man. The 1611 King James Holy Bible, man. That's what it's talking about. It says, Hear the word which the Lord spoke unto you. How did the Lord speak? The Lord speak through his prophets, man, which he gave the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to. He 
can read that in Amos, the third chapter, in the seventh verse, man. And it says, O house of Israel, man, which means the family, you know, the congregation of Israel, man. You know, the family, the bloodline, the descendants, man. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians ain't confusing the faces, man. Verse 2, thus saith the Lord, right? See, these are not our words, man. These are thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. Learn not the way of the heathen, right? Because the 4th of July is the custom of the heathens, man. You know, celebrating the, uh, what, what, what is it, the independence, you know? Or when Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery, which that's a doggone lie, you know? All he did was, uh, instead of us being slaves to the Confederate state, we are now slaves to the government, man. You know, we are now, we are slaves to uh, 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 the system, man. You know, and that's when they, the the prisons started being invented, man. You know, so he didn't abolish no doggone slavery, man. That's a daggone lie, you know. And he reads, uh, at which he was a hypocrite anyway, because how can somebody who was against slavery, so to speak, and have slaves, man. Abraham Lincoln was a slave owner himself, man. Look at look it up, man. Our people don't study, man. Look it up. He was a slave owner himself, man. You know? And he had kids with the slaves. And it reads, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed that they write the shooting stars. You know, the uh, the eclipses, the full moon, you know. Uh, anything that, that that's in the signs of heaven, which is in the sky, you know what I'm saying, that these that these heathens uh, like to take pictures of, they, like, they want to be amazed by them, man. We're not supposed to be like that because these are signs uh, of us. Uh, uh, these are signs that the Lord has given us, man. And he said, don't be like the heathens be, man. Don't, 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 don't worry about them. And don't be uh, amazed by them, man. You know? Because in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to see greater. You know? So, yeah, we're not supposed to learn the way of the heathen, man. Yeah, the 4th of July is, is definitely the way of the heathen, man. You know? So, this is the book of uh, Isaiah. Chapter 66. Verse 15. As a matter of fact, hold on, hold on right quick. As a matter of fact, I'm going to look something Spirit, give me one second. I can one second. Um, uh, give me one minute, give me one second. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, I looked up the uh, what is the def what is the meaning of the Fourth of July, and it means a uh, July Fourth Independence Day. Independence Day is a federal holiday in the United States, incorporated the Declaration of Independence of the United States on J July Fourth, seventeen seventy six. The Constitutional Congress declared that the thirteenth American colonies were no longer subject to the monarch of Britain and were now united and were now united free and independent states. Right. And, and exactly like how I said it, man. You know, even with the Abraham Lincoln thing, exactly what I said, man. And where were you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians during the time of America getting their independence? Where were you? You were in slavery, man. You know? You were in slavery. You didn't get no doggone independence, man. Just like how I said earlier, uh, Abraham Lincoln didn't abolish slavery, man. You know? Uh, so, yeah. This was the book of uh, Isaiah. You know? So, so, that's the custom of the heathen, man. We're not supposed to learn the custom of the heathen. It's just another day to us, man. It's just another day. This is the book of Isaiah 66 to 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and his chariots like a whirlwind, to winter his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right? So that's how the Lord is coming back, man. The Lord is coming back with fire, man. 
And Lord's willing to be the elect. You know what I'm saying? And we'll be watching from the chariots, man. You know, and seeing you people become the fireworks, man. You know, while, while we drinking wine, having a good time, man, in the chariots, man. Lord's willing. You know? We're going to be seeing the sparks. We're going to be seeing the, uh, the, the, the fire, you know? From the from 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 the firmament, man. You know, from the eye, from the windows of the chariots, man. You know. So yeah. So 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 that's what the uh, Fourth of July is all about. You know, what I'm saying I mean Abraham Lincoln didn't abolish slavery, and and Esau Edom was the one that got independence from the British state, man. Which, um, which that they, they don't got nothing to do with us, man. That has nothing to do with us, man. Because we were still in chains as slaves, man. You know? As a matter of fact... Hold on, let me look something else up. Give me one more minute. Uh, January 1st, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1st, 1863, as the nation approached its third year of bloody civil war, the proclamation declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states or henceforward shall be free. Which, that's a daggone lie, man. That's a doggone lie. So, America gained his, their, the independence in 1776. On fourth on the July fourth, seventeen seventy six, and the Emancipation Proclamation was issued in eighteen sixty three by Abraham Lincoln, man. So even with that, where were you during the time of America gaining their independence from Britain, man? Where were you, so called? Where were you, Israelites, man? You were still in slavery, man. You know, you were still in slavery. You know. So that was just a little bit of uh of history, you know, uh, and a little bit of uh a little bit of everything. But hey, the main point of this lesson is Lord's will will be the ones that's watching the fireworks, which is you people, you mockers, you scoffers, you know what I'm saying? And you heathens get burnt up, man, you know. And we watch and laugh and have a good time while you get burned up, according to the Bible. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible. So with that I want to say call her William La. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Akhakodash, double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and safety and mercy to the Yakims out there, principal teachers in the four corners of the earth. With that, Shalom, Kwame Ashwala.